every once in a while I find something completely unknown to me in archives and I get really excited to not only research it but then share it with you guys. So some of you might know about it, but those of you who don't, it's time to meet the Gemini Radar Evaluation Pod. I came across this picture looking through some Gemini archives for just interesting images to actually use on a business card. My first thought when I saw the thumbnail was that somebody had rather inexpertly photoshopped the New Horizon spacecraft into an image of the Earth as seen from the Gemini spacecraft. Why? I do not know. So I looked into it a little bit further and found that it is not in fact New Horizons in a Gemini image, but a artist concept of what the radar evaluation pod might have looked like on Gemini 5, which led me to ask, what was the radar evaluation pod? So the radar evaluation pod was actually a small bank of instruments taken up into orbit with the Gemini 5 spacecraft to test the radar rendezvous. This did not have any provision for the Gemini spacecraft to actually dock with it. It was really just a test of the rendezvous radar. However, it only was sort of successful. Gemini 5, as some of you may know from watching my channel, was NASA's first long duration mission. It was designed to orbit for eight days because that was the minimum time it would take for an Apollo spacecraft to get to the moon and back. This Gemini mission tested a whole whack of new hardware to facilitate this long duration mission including fuel cells. Fuel cells give power and they are far more reliable and can sustain a much longer mission than simple batteries. So top on Gemini 5's list was to do this long duration mission just to test the fuel cells. The fuel cells use cryogenic hydrogen and oxygen to create power, but two orbits into Gemini 5's mission, the crew noticed that their cryogenic oxygen tank in the fuel cells was running too high, the pressure was too high. This meant that they were going to have power issues for the duration of the mission. They were forced to power down the spacecraft and slowly bring things online, just trying to go with the bare minimum power for this eight day duration. They did two tests with the radar evaluation pod, but didn't run as many as they had hoped. The mission was a success, albeit a bit of a boring one. Pete Conrad did once mention that had he known it was going to be so boring sitting in effectively the front seat of a small car with someone else for eight days, he would have brought a book. So that is a new fact to me about Gemini 5. What are your favorite facts from the early Gemini missions? Let me know in the comments below or leave me questions about the program in the comment section as well. For daily spacey goodness, be sure to follow me on Twitter as AST Vintage Space. And with new episodes going up every Tuesday and Friday, most Tuesdays and Fridays because my schedule has been a little bit wonky lately, be sure to subscribe right here so you never miss an episode.